Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to the last Tokyo vlog. <laughs> I'm so sad. So guys, it is our last official day. Well, not even last official day. We're like, we're leaving Hello. today. Cal, how was your trip experience? It was amazing. Amazing. The best trip I've ever had. I agree with that. I keep telling him, I'm like, I, I'm ready to go home. We've been here for so long. I don't know if I've ever been anywhere for two full weeks before in like my adult life. So it's been a long time. It's half a month. I won't go to a text from and she's like, did you move to Japan? So it's been a long trip, obviously. And it's so fun. I was just texting Kaylee and she was like, oh my God, I've been loving keeping up with all the content. Was it like a work trip for you? Or was it like a vacation? Like, did you actually relax? And I told her, there's just so many fun things to do here that I, I still got so much content for you guys. Obviously like I daily vlogged and I've been doing like three to four TikToks a day, but because there's just so much to do, I don't feel like I was overwhelmed with work stuff. So it was really fun for me. I felt like I had a good balance between work and also relaxing and vacation. And now when I go home, I have so much content pre filmed that I can actually relax at home, which I think is honestly more relaxing for me because if I came here and didn't get all the content that I did, I would have been like, damn it, Remy, you should have done more. So now I can go home and lounge on the couch and not feel bad about it. Woo! So yes, it is the last morning. Also, Alicia is landing in Tokyo today as we speak. Our original plan was to actually come, not necessarily with Alicia, but it just happened that when we planned our trip, Alicia was like, wait, I'm going there at the same time too. It was crazy. So we were all gonna be here together, but then we ended up having to move our trip two weeks ahead just because of scheduling issues. So that's why we are happening to run into her at the airport. I'm trying to find her today. She lands at 2 p.m. and we take off at 5 p.m. So we're gonna have a little overlap. I'm gonna try and find her. I don't know if it's possible, but here's hoping, which would be so, so funny. I think we might be able to actually because we're in the same terminal too. So we'll see. It's like my goal of today. My other goal of today is to pack and get ready to go home because we have to leave here in a few hours. But today's vlog is gonna be really fun. I still have to go buy all my souvenirs at the airport. I saw a lot of people saying that they have really good stuff at the airport. Like everything you could have wanted out in the city, you can buy at the airport. So I've been waiting to get all the souvenirs till then. We have one last breakfast here at the hotel. One last breakfast. I am ready. Woo! All right, the last breakfast. I really want some onsen eggs, but they don't have any yet. So I'm waiting for those to be done and I'm gonna put it in my rice. We got scrambled eggs, fruit, tomatoes, a couple dumplings, kimchi, and then some French onion soup. And I put some Gruyere cheese in there to melt. Ooh, look at that, yes. It is chilly this morning. Breakfast was amazing, and now we're leaving the hotel, and the staff came up and they were like, hi, do you need a taxi? We're like, oh no, just Family Mart. They're like, oh, have a good day. <laughs> we're now going to Family Mart to get some fun snacks to take home. One last Family Mart trip. Last time, they are stocked fresh on onigiris this morning because it's still so early. Oh my God. I kinda wanna get one for the ride to the airport. <laughs> one last egg salad sandwich. I did want to try this banana bread before I left. There are so many like little bread things that look so good. These little cakes, a butter biscuit. I don't think I could take any of these home, but they look fantastic. I'll be getting lots of candies for taste tests though. Oh, these look so good. Found some fun chocolates. I found caramel pudding Kit Kats. I feel like the airport's gonna have a lot of these. Like fun flavors, but super cute. All right guys, we're back in the room. I've got my green tea and we are going to pack up everything. Cal got up way earlier than I did and is more far along than I am and I've got a lot to do in the next hour. So I'm gonna pop my headphones in and go, go, go. Okay guys, about an hour later and we're all packed up. The place has been cleaned up and we are ready to head to the airport. <sighs> I had the most amazing trip and I am sad to be going home, but I'm also happy to be going home. I miss the pups. I I miss my friends, I miss my family, and I am ready to get back into a routine. But first, we must get onto a, I think it's a 10 hour flight. So let's go to the airport. Here we have all of our suitcases. And I have a headache, and I stupidly put my medicine in this one, so I've gotta open it up embarrassingly at the airport. Me just watching. Nice. All right, just checked her flight. She lands in about 45 minutes. So until then, I don't know what we're gonna do. Should we shop? Should we sit? Which one? They have Chanel, Bottega, Cartier, Rolex, but where are the Kit Kats? Chanel, Saint Laurent, everything you can imagine. Where's the candy and the snacks? 
All right, past every single designer you could imagine, we have stumbled upon the Tokyo Souvenir Shop. And I think this is what we're looking for. Oh my God, they have okonomiyaki and takoyaki here. We're gonna get some. And sushi, I love it here. This is exactly what I wanted. These are really popular. It's like a banana. I think it's like a banana cream instead of almost like a Twinkie. And they have the Pikachu version. So cute. Look at these shrimp crackers. Those look delicious. So much mochi. I got these chocolate strawberries. Ooh, melon pocky. Fabulous news, I got my things and put it in this cute little Sanrio bag. Now we're just exploring the airports more. Found another little store. Look at these matcha madelines. Oh my God, it all looks so good. At that other gift shop, they only had like big boxes of Kit Kats and I was gonna try and find these smaller bags. So I'm so glad I found them. Oh my God, so these are so cute. They're like little lucky cats, it says. And they have Hello Kitty versions. You best bet in getting some for people. All right, finished my souvenir shopping and then I looked and Alicia's plane landed like 20 minutes early and we were right next to it. So we're waiting for their plane to get pulled around and then I'm gonna surprise them. Well, actually, I'm not surprising them because I just texted her that I am waiting at the gate. So I'm gonna say hi. I'm Pretty sure that's them. Hi guys, <laughs> she's here. I have horrible news. They walk behind this glass and I can't get back there. So I'll just have to say hi through the glass. <laughs> Let me. I love you. Bye. At least I got to see them. That glass was thick. I couldn't hear a single thing they said, but I wrote on my phone. I said, have so much fun. <laughs> Let's go get some food. Oh my god, the lounge food looks so delicious. And there's a ramen bar. Look at the little candy cookie section. <gasps> Chupa Chups. I'll be taking one of those for the plane. Curry and soups. Ramen bar. This is amazing. Mmm, curry is so good. Brashi bowl, little arancini, little matcha mochi. Matcha mochi. Mm. I made it onto the flight. I didn't have time to touch the outside of the plane and now I'm really nervous. I thought about going back and trying to do it, but I didn't want to inconvenience anyone, so. Fingers crossed. You know how I normally touch the outside of the plane? I didn't have time today. I'm too drunk for this. <laughs> up a couple plain snacks. I just tried these, what is it, Uji Matcha Strawberry Truffle. They were so good. It's like a freeze-dried strawberry enrobed in like thick white chocolate with matcha. I also think I'm a white chocolate girl now. My palate has changed as I've gotten older. I really liked this. I also got these as a snack for the flight. Palm sticks cut from real potatoes. A little like french fry sour cream situation. And I lost my eye mask, so I bought this new one that I'm really excited about. Got some rosé and some nuts. Watching a movie. Got Wagyu with some sauce and tofu, rice, miso soup, pickles. So good. We made it home! We did it! We got all the luggage. We thought we lost one, but we didn't. And I've never been so sweaty and stinky in my life. I really need a shower, but we're back. tomorrow because I'm gonna go home and sit on the couch for the rest of the day. Woo! It's like 11 a.m. on Tuesday morning. We left on Tuesday night or afternoon so we time traveled and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I would love to be productive today. I don't know if I'm gonna get there. I'll probably see you tomorrow. Bye! Hi guys! Okay it is a few days later. I have missed you so much. The jet lag has been kicking my ass so badly. Oh my god. Cal being Cal, he came home and immediately got back on schedule the next day. Like, he's been crushing it. I have been suffering a bit with the time change, but what day is it now? It's Friday. We got back on Tuesday. Little rundown of what happened. Not that it's very interesting, but Tuesday we got back. Tuesday afternoon. And I think I stayed up, I want to say... No, I came back and I took a nap and that's what threw everything off. And I knew I shouldn't have, but I was so tired. I took a nap and then I wasn't able to sleep the next night. The next night I was up until literally 8 a.m. in the morning. I didn't sleep all night. And then I finally took a nap for like what I thought was gonna be like two hours or so. And I woke up at 5 p.m. I looked at my phone and it was 4.59 and I thought that it was literally the next morning, but no, it was 4.59 p.m. That threw me off. I think I might be back on track today. I woke up this morning at 8.30. 
I went to bed at 3.30, but I woke up at 8.30. Oh my God, car accident almost just happened right there. So hopefully I'm back on schedule, but I am up and I am out today and I'm running some errands. Just wanted to go to Target to get a few things that I need to grab. And on the way over, I passed a bagel shop and I have not gone out and just gotten a bagel all while living in this house. Oh, just this man smiling at my vlog. Drove by and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get a bagel because I want one. So let's go get a bagel. We're gonna go to Target. And today we're going to finally unpack because I have yet to unpack. All right, let's get a bagel. I look a little crazy, so I'm gonna put the sunglasses on today. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited about this. I got a water bottle because I totally forgot to bring mine. I need to get back into the routine of doing that. And I went to Einstein Bros Bagels. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited. It smelled amazing in there. We got some napkins, and then I got a bacon, egg white, and avocado. It was just on their menu and it looked fabulous. I did an everything bagel, but I had them make it thin. So I think they just cut like the middle out, I wanna say, but it's egg whites, tomatoes, bacon, avocado, and then like a sun-dried tomato, something on the inside, hummus maybe, or a spread. Wow, it looks so good. Okay, here goes my bite. The everything bagel is gonna make an absolute mess in the car, but that's okay. Woo, doggy! I was gonna maybe opt out for the spread, but it really does tie everything together. The tomato with the tomato spread. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, to catch you guys up, haven't really been up to much. Cal and I started watching Succession. It's really good. Yesterday, I did a lot of cooking. I went grocery shopping and just bought a ton of stuff. And of course, I cooked and then I got this today. But I just wanted to get back in the kitchen. I just did like a lot of meal prepping for the week, essentially. Like cut up a lot of produce. I did like a lot of prepping for like breakfast sandwiches, breakfast muffins, things like that for the week. Made some delicious salmon cakes, like salmon patties to put on like burgers and little like lettuce wraps and things. And that's really all I've been up to. Nothing crazy. But you guys are loving, loving, loving the Tokyo content. I'm so happy. I'm halfway through editing all the vlogs. On the flight home, I got five, no, six vlogs edited, and I have about six more that I need to edit now, so I'm gonna get to those very soon. But you guys are loving the content. I'm so happy you're loving the content. I know I did so many. I feel kind of bad. I'm like, I don't know if people are gonna get bored of them. So I hope people don't get bored, but so far you guys are really liking them. I'm very happy about it. I miss Tokyo so much. I wanna go back as soon as possible, but for now, I will eat my bagel in my car, and I'll see you guys at Target. Made it to Target and I got a chocolate shaken oat milk espresso and just roam in the aisles. Oh my gosh. Okay, definitely little baby socks, little baby booties. These are so cute. Oh my God. <laughs> I love little baby things so much. I also wanted to grab a bunch of things to make a little basket for my new nephew. I thought he was gonna come while we were in Japan, but he didn't come yet. Lily is scheduled to be induced early next week, so like in a few days. Oh my God, it's like actually hitting me. So I'm gonna make a cute little basket of things for them and then throw in the stuff that I got in Japan. <laughs> I'm so excited. So far, I grabbed these adorable little booties and then these little baby socks. So cute and all the options are just adorable here. <gasps> right now, obviously, it's slimmer pickings because he's going to be zero months, but soon I'll be back for all the other stuff when he's older. Oh my God, I just can't get over how cute these like, little baby socks are. We've got little baby hats. These are cute. Oh yes, those socks are so cute and little bibs. To be honest guys, I've never really hung out with babies much, so I don't really know exactly what they need. If any moms or aunts or grandmas, uncles, dads, whoever are watching this and have experience with babies, please let me know what I should get them and what will be actually useful for them. I found this set of three newborn little onesies for $14 for three of them. That's such a good deal compared to all the other baby things that I've seen. Target is the place. Oh my God, all the books are so cute. They're not gonna need these for a while, but I think it'd just be so cute to add some books to the basket. I found my first bedtime storybook. I mean, they'll utilize these eventually. I was such a good night moon girly. I feel like this will be so cute to add. They might have some of these, like the classics already though, to be honest. <gasps> the Hungry Hungry Caterpillar. I loved that book. Oh my God. Okay, throwback. I'm sure a lot of you guys <gasps> are seeing this for the first time in a long time like I am. It's so nostalgic. Okay, I'm gonna get the Very Hungry Caterpillar. I don't know if they have this one already, but they need to have that if they don't. And then I got Forever My Baby, Little Otters. I would love to find the rainbow fish, but I don't see that one here, so these are still great. All right, made it to the baby section. Have to get a little baby blanket, of course. Oh my gosh. And a little stuffy. An elephant with a baby. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the little elephant to stick with this gray theme that we've got going. Adorable. Got some little swaddles. I love this 
this color scheme we're going for. Honestly, guys, I have no idea what they actually need, but hopefully they'll just utilize all these things at some point. I am out of my comfort zone here. I really want to organize my medicine cabinet and my tea area. I keep all the things together and it's really messy right now. So I think that these should work. They should fit in the cabinets. We're going to try them and then if they don't work, I'll return them. Also, I want to grab some spinach, some Brussels sprouts. Ooh, these look crunchy. Got some peanut butter, almond butter, PB2, and some Greek yogurt because I went through a whole container in like three days and I need another one. Oh my God, this also just gave me so much nostalgia. I loved this stuff. Smells good. Oh my God, you guys. I just got the text that Lily's in labor. <gasps> I cannot believe this, you guys. As I just told you, at Target, she was scheduled to be induced next week, but her water broke today. She's currently at the hospital. We don't know how long it's gonna be before she actually gives birth, obviously, and she's a first-time mom, so apparently it takes a little longer. I'm telling you guys, I'm learning all these new things about birth and babies now. So yes, I mean, I need to build these baskets, obviously. I was planning on doing it in a couple days, but we need to do this now. We're gonna build the baskets. Cal and I are just waiting to get the okay to head down to Orange County. I think we're gonna go tonight and maybe stay at my parents' house or be at the hospital if we're allowed to be at the hospital just be there and wait for the okay so yeah that's all we're doing now for the rest of the day is just waiting for the okay to go to the hospital oh my god okay i'm gonna try and keep myself busy until then because i'm gonna go crazy if i just sit there and think about it but i am starting to get hungry and i thought we would make some ice cream to uh distract me a little bit i made this little concoction yesterday it is a premier protein shake it's in the birthday cake flavor and then i put a scoop of chocolate protein powder in here this is my ninja creamy oh no Oh, it didn't freeze flat. So let me try and flatten that out. I know if it has a flat surface, it's able to blend it up better, but you know what? It's okay, we'll just do it like this. If you guys haven't heard of this, basically you put whatever you want into these little containers. You can do like fruit and water. You can do like a protein shake. You can make it like real ice cream, put heavy whipping cream and things in there, but it whips it up to the most amazing consistency. And if you are on a health journey or trying to be a little bit healthier, it makes getting your protein in so much more fun and it makes like a fun, sweet, delicious treat. So I can't believe I'm gonna be an ant. Oh my God. All right, we got our little mechanism right there. I'm gonna pop this on top. All right, she is locked and loaded. Turn her on, I'm gonna hit light ice cream and it is kinda loud. All right, first mix is done. Oh man, sorry, this is not something you can do with one hand. Uh-oh. All right, this is after the first mix. It looks kind of powdery, if you can see. Then all you need to do is take some liquid. You can do water, you can do more protein shake, you can do more milk, hold on. Oh my God. I'm just taking a little almond milk and Gonna pour it right there in the center. Lock her back in. All right, then we hit respin. All right, after the respin, it should be done. <gasps> oh my God, that is like chocolate frosty consistency. Do you see this, you guys? It's literally just protein powder and a protein shake and a little almond milk. Now I could create a well and put like candy or fruit or something like a mix in on the inside, but I like just the plain texture and it makes a fabulous tripod. Okay, let's try. It's been blowing up on TikTok, but you guys, it is so delicious. Here we go. I haven't tried this combo yet. Oh my God, definitely has obviously like a very proteiny taste because it's just protein, but I think there's like 55 grams of protein in this. It's really good. I definitely want to try this again with like a chocolate shake. Yesterday night, I ate one that was the same protein shake, the confetti cake, birthday cake one. But instead of chocolate protein powder, I added in fresh bananas, froze it, and then I made like a banana cream flavor. And then I added in chocolate chips and it was so good. Hi guys. Okay, it is the next day. I have big news. The baby is here. He is beautiful. He is perfect. He is healthy. Last night, I built their basket. So I made one for the baby. How cute is this? So we have all the little things from Target, the little books, the swaddle, bib, blankie, all the little onesies I got for him in in Japan, so, so cute. I put a little cardboard box under here because it was a really deep basket. But I also love giving gifts in baskets because A, they just look cute and B, you can reutilize a basket after for storage and for things like that. So this one's for the baby. And then I also made one for Lily because obviously she is an absolute superhero. And I wanted to just fill it with a bunch of fun things. I bought some stuff at Target for her yesterday. And then also I just have so many extra products and things. I thought it'd be fun to make her like a little self care basket. So we've got some of my favorite products from like Summer Fridays. We've got stuff from Cora, which is an amazing skincare company. Lots of just like skincare, Kopari, so she can just relax. These products that I got at Target in the mommy section, 
cocoa butter things to help with stretch marks. We've got a sore nipple set, all these fun little things. I threw in some slippers, some wine. She's a wine girl and she can finally drink wine again eventually. A little diffuser, some of my favorite creme shop face masks, and then a little candle. And then these are, they're like lactating products. So they help you make more milk. We've got oatmeal chocolate chip, and then these ones are blueberry muffins. So, so cute. I'm gonna bring these to the hospital later. But my God, guys, what an eventful past few weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed the Tokyo vlogs. I believe this like actually finishes the chapter of Tokyo vlogs. I love you guys so much. I'm so glad you guys enjoyed them. And I will see you in the next vlog where I am home for a very long time. Okay, bye.